So, so uh, this is going to be Tabitha's challenge number five. Things that people do that annoy the shit out of you. I work in a call center. I have been working in call centers for a large portion of my life. I have done other things, but mostly I have worked in call centers. And essentially the job is always the same. Hello, thank you for calling. My name is Daniel. How can I help you? And I do that anywhere between 40 to 100 times a day, depending on the job. And then after the initial greeting, it's my job to find out who you are and then say yes to everything that I can possibly say yes to or to say, I'm not the person who can say yes to you, but I will find someone who can say yes to you and they will get back to you. It's our job to give you everything your heart desires as long as it is within our ability to do so. That being said, yes, I am aware that there are some pretty terrible call center folks out there, some people who are, their intention is to cause you grief. Um, I am not one of those people. So when you call, I say, hi, thank you for calling. My name is Daniel. How can I help you? And then you tell me what you want. I say, okay, I'll be happy to help you with that. May I have your name? If you immediately go, why do you want my name? I want your name because it's my job to ask you for your name. No other reason. I'm also going to ask you for your phone number. Why do you want my phone number? I want your phone number because it's my job to ask you for your phone number. The thing is, welcome to the future. There's this thing called caller ID. Everybody has it. And when you called me, I instantly knew who you were. I am not asking you to give me information that I don't already have. I'm asking you to confirm the information that's already in front of me. So by denying giving me your name and your phone number, you're not helping yourself at all. You're not protecting your identity. All you're doing is giving me a bad day because it's my job to get that information from you. And if I don't get that information, it, well, if I don't verify the information, it docks me but if you're going to continue to get any kind of a service from us, eventually this information that I'm asking for is information that you will be sending to us in one form or another. So there's no reason to not give it to me the first time that you call. If you don't give it to me, it does two things. It ruins my day because it was my job to ask you. and it makes it so that I am no longer accountable for making sure that you get what you want. So now you can ask me anything in the world and my job just went from saying yes to everything to whatever I freaking feel like. Yeah, don't tell me your name and phone number even though I'm looking at it right now. John Smith at number 555-555-5555. I know exactly who you are, I know where you live too, and I, and I know who lives with you. But sure, go ahead, protect your identity and don't tell me. And now, go ahead and tell me what it is that you want. Oh, you'd like a, a phone number that you can contact later. Oh, okay, it's um, 235666 banana purple orangutan tangerine. Yes, I'm quite certain that's the phone number. Yes. Purple banana orangutan tangerine, absolutely. All right, you go ahead and have a nice day now. I understand that you don't want to be harassed. You don't want to receive a bunch of mailings. You don't want to receive a bunch of phone calls. It's very simple. Say to me, I will give you my phone number, but I don't want any phone calls. I will give you my address and my name, but I don't want any mailings, and please don't sell my name to any other organization. 
no problem. I will gladly put those suppressions on you because once you've given me the, the couple of things that I ask for, if you share it with me, well, if you verify what's already in front of me, I will bend over backwards to give you everything your heart desires and more. I will tell you all the little secret places where we hide the pots of gold so that you can go and you can gather up all that gold because you gave me the one thing that I want. I don't care about anything else over the course of the call. I will sell my employer to you tied to the back of a donkey if that's what you ask me for as long as at the start of the call you let me have your name and your phone number and maybe your address. I don't even really need your address. Just your name and your phone number so that I can make a record and I can put notes and I can get my dumb little activity that says, hey, I did my job today. Please don't fire me and please don't deny me a raise in a year. That's all I want. <laughs> so enjoy that little insight and and, and, and have fun with that the next time that you have to talk to someone in a call center. Bye.